O nature, I do not aspire to be the highest in thy choir, to be a meteor in thy sky, or comet that may range on high, only a zephyr that may blow among the reeds by the river low. Give me thy most privy place where to run my airy race. In some withdrawn on public mead, let me sigh upon a reed, or in the woods with leafy din, whisper the still evening in. Some still work give me to do, only be it near to you. For I'd rather be thy child and pupil in the forest wild than be the king of men elsewhere and most sovereign slave of care, to have one moment of thy dawn than share the city's year for long. Henry David Thoreau. What is Woods Baseball? Well, uh, it's the great American pastime meets the great American outdoors. It's baseball in the woods. Gary Cosmas is the creator of Woods Baseball or Woods Ball and manager of the Hutton Sasquatches. Gary claims that Woods Baseball appeared to him while unconscious on the floor of a high school gym. Woods Baseball, however, is not his first endeavor into the world of what he calls experimental sportsmanship. Back in 82, I was coaching a high school girls volleyball team and I received a wicked right hook from Miss Jessica Haverdale's father. In the 30 seconds or so that I was unconscious, I developed several hundred new sports. To this day, Gary has created exactly 344 new sports, including hot ball, roller archery, and he's a he is. He's topping one. He's having minus five. And he's back at Oh my god. Please join us next season. And bocce ball. The day of days, the game of games. Today, the Sasquatches of the Cedar League face off against the Birch League's Timberhawks in the World Series of Woods Baseball. Out of the three teams in the entire sport, these two have risen to the top. Who will be the victor? Many of Woods Baseball's athletes Gary finds through deceptive newspaper ads. Timberhawks manager Dan Newbaum owes me six dollars. So how many players per team? Well we have six players and the Timberhawks we only got five. So we're gonna pick one of our guys to play for both teams. Okay, hey, Gary, who you got for us? Clifford. Wait, that's bullshit. Clifford oh. sucks. What the fuck? Take it. Take it. Clifford sucks. Take it. 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 May I finish my question? Oh, I don't know, can you? Um, so do you feel like you're a pioneer, maybe, or a trailblazer for young women? Okay, all right, let me just ask you a question. Do you feel like you're a pioneer because you're the first piece of shit to fall out of someone's asshole and make a movie, huh? Hi, my name is Lonnie. I am the umpire. I was banned from the Amateur Baseball Umpire League for what they referred to as being verbally abusive and destroying league property. Touching a co-worker in an inappropriate and then uh, hey, partner. Fuck you, Lonnie. Unprofessional manner and uh, coming to work high off my ass. Now, I live in my sedan, collect unemployment, and uh, umpire here for 20 bucks a game. Woods Baseball has some peculiar allowances. You care to comment? 
Yes. Fighting, for instance, is allowed. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. In the event of a real grudge, players are allowed to uh, request a bat match. Winner of that match gets a point for his team. Today is the first series for Sasquatch rookies Des Penske and Buck Topstick Hooper. As the crowd filters in, these two newcomers warm up. Penske, you suck! What brought you to this new sport? Is there something that, uh, that regular baseball doesn't have? Well, you know, it's like the trees, the outdoors, <clears throat> and that's all great stuff, but truth is I was going to join the majors. Is that Major League Baseball? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but what's more challenging than regular baseball? You know? It's baseball with trees in the way. You know? That makes sense, doesn't it? The Sasquatch mascot is based on actual eyewitness Ladies accounts. And gentlemen, I'd like to remind what's you this that kid? There are no more bats left. Venomous snakes spotted in the seating area at Big Crosby Field. I once saw a Sasquatch while hiking the Canadian Rockies in southern Alberta. Hey! Turn the fucking thing off! Welcome. Firstly, we'd like to uh, dedicate the, today's game to uh, the memory of Manny Witten. Most of you would have known him as uh, Manny the Mitten Witten. The Mitten, unfortunately, uh, Passed away recently after a month's long coma suffered as a result of falling from the top of that spruce tree over there. No, no, sorry, j the one just, yeah, j to the left, that one, yeah. Uh, anywho, the Mitten's final wish was to have his ashes spreaded where his heart lived, and we can only assume here that that meant uh, Mick Crosby Field. Uh, Frank will now sing the national anthem. Sorry. Jose, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the That's a, that's a national anthem. Play ball! A battle of the utmost ferocity begins. Two team enter, You're one right. team leave. Score is still one nothing, Timberhawks, folks. Next up to bat is Des Penske, number 68, the Sasquatch's center fielder. Oh, Penske hacks off a daisy cutter. Scoring himself a double. Here's Barry Bolska, number 44. He's the catcher for the Sasquatches. Des Penske, number 68, leading a little bit off second base. Didn't trust him, pitch. Ooh, One of the can. Striker. Again, Penske's got a bit of a lead Frank, off shut second up. base. Watch he may attempt to right steal. There. I know a bad grabber when I see one. Halstead goes for Penske. You kidding me? I saw you back into my fucking car last week, Des. That piece of shit red Volvo, that's you, right? I didn't hit your fucking car. Saw you. Get bent. Oh, and two. Daddy's home. Again, 
again, Penske is inching away ever so slightly further and further from the safety of second base. Frank, shut the fuck up. He's out in the open now. He could attempt to steal at any moment. Frank, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Is drunk. But Hopster Cooper has just tossed his biscuits. Hopefully this won't affect his performance. want to see a fucking home run. They admit Crosby Field. Let's see what those beer muscles can do. Hey, Lonnie. I'll tell you what. You get up to bat for us. I got a fat sack of perks with your name on it. <laughs> Ball one. You son of a Good call, Lonnie. Here to be a perfect strike from Timberhawk's Fucking picture of Malcolm Hawkins. Holstead was, in fact, a ball. A lofty punch from a yeah, Lonnie. Lonnie. Let's hope yeah. his back holds yeah. out. Safe. Come on, Lonnie. What the hell? That's horseshit, Cosmos. That's horseshit. Lonnie, you're taking this one home, folks. Cosmos, get... Bottom of the ninth, two outs. The Sasquatches hold the game 17 to 16 on the cusp of victory. the jaws of defeat, all in the hands of number 37, Nate Potter, a real fence buster. Hey, Gertrude. You're in for a fucking Nate. You're at my house last night for dinner. Ooh, a mean Steer right. Yeah. 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 This is oh, bullshit. I don't know what Nate's up to, but this bullshit. is no time for idle chit chat. How's it feel to be a champion? <laughs> That's great. You know, we win any time I can afford to get Lonnie on the team, but it's still good. Do you think that Woods baseball is here to stay? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. We've got a long way to go before we, uh, come out of the woods, so to speak. But I think we've got a future. Yeah. Yeah.
Gary Cosmas considers Woods baseball the greatest thing he's ever done. This baseball field was lent to Gary by a kindly potato farmer. Common injuries in Woods baseball usually result from bee stings, snake bites, and savage black bear maulings. Woods baseball seems fun. If I hadn't lost a leg, I would play Woods baseball. Gary Cosmas eats most of his food from cans.